Welcome back. This is video number eight. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about email authentication. It's about time that you learn the basics of protecting your email box from spam. So in this video, you're going to learn how to use cPanel and tell cPanel to do just that and authenticate all the emails that are coming out of your domain as legitimate emails. And what this does is it protects you from other people abusing your email. And I'll show you in just a second how all of this works. So there are two things that you want to do. You want to, of course, scroll down and find the email section. But after that, you're going to want to do two things. And the first thing you want to do is spam assassin, which will basically protect you from spam, which will open that up in a new window. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to do what we call email authentication. And we'll open that up into a new window as well. So let's start with the spam assassin first. Spam assassin basically is a mail filter. It will filter out your email. You have the ability to set it at a high and a low. So by default, it's going to do from one to 10. So default, it's going to do five. The higher the number, the more conservative the setting. So you could get really granular and really block everything out. But I would caution you at that same point because at the end of the day, some of the good emails might be triggered as spam. And I've seen that over the years. Now you have the option to auto delete spam. Personally, I would not do that because like I said, if it is good email that is triggered as spam, it will auto delete. You'll never get it. And if you rely on your email and your website and your business and all that to make money, then that's not a good thing. So usually I leave it at five and you can click configure to configure it further. And the only reason why you would actually need to do this is if you happen to be getting bombarded with spam from a specific person, you can enter that information here. Or if you have, you know, a whitelist from a certain domain, you can do that as well. But typically, the first step is all you really need. So now let's talk about email authentication. So let me read this to you so you understand what it's about. Email authentication helps prevent spam. How? Well, basically, it in, what a lot of spammers do is they will hijack your domain or they'll email from your domain or they'll pretend to do so. So what this does is it prevents spammers from forging emails that claim to be your domain. And you want to protect your domain as much as possible because if you end up on a blacklist, that can be potentially very, very harmful for your email deliverability. Meaning if you're emailing from that email, when the ISPs like Gmail, you know, all these other internet service providers or email service providers see your email, they'll put it straight to the spam box and you don't want that, right? So you want to protect as much as possible. So best to do that by clicking enable for the DKIM and then you can enable the SPF here. So doing those two items will help you greatly as far as protecting your email and for protecting your email as far as the reputation goes in relation to the email service providers and to keep your domain whitelisted 